what you doing? Reading. Oh, reading. Oh my God. That is just so cool and fun. Catch. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I thought you could use your mind. Oh, you want pizza for dinner? Okay. Yeah. Oh my God. If only we had someone who had fire hands who could heat up this dough. Right. Ooh. Too bad we can't. What if you just try? What? Okay, no, you trust me, right? Uh, you trust uh, me. Okay, no, you're just really gonna fly. No, I swear to God, you're gonna be so fine. What? Wait, did you hear what I said in my head? What? No, you're just fucking staring at me like Edgar Allan Pork. <laughs> Wait, did you do that? I don't think so. Fuck! Oh, you want to go to Six Flags? Okay, awesome. You run there. Run? It's... No, I promise you can. If you There's put your no legs to it, I swear to God, it's all the please. way Hey, I just wanted to... <gasps> wait, you're invisible. Oh my God, honey, wait, listen. I always knew you had this power in you. You know, I thought it was a switch type birth situation because the compound being... What are you I... doing in my room? Why are you normal? What? I don't... What? You think the wind is ever trying to tell us something and we don't know how to hear it anymore? Just want you to stop saying odd shit. Uh, <laughs> this is my impression of the deep from the boys, but if you got into some bad business dealings with the mob. If you don't get us our money back, you're just gonna be sleeping with the fishes. Really? <laughs> Thank you. Five Freddy told me everybody's fly. DJ spin and I said my my. Hi. Hi. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? Yeah. You don't deserve to be outside enjoying the sun. What? You should be in a cave. Oh, that's Judy. Oh, don't look at her. Do not look at her. She's gonna try to sell us pancakes. I'm telling you. What are you looking for? I have the best pancakes. Come do this for breakfast. I'm Judy, I have cafe. Come for breakfast. When you gave them to the Russians, you knew Soldier Boy would come back one day. You need to f -f -f face him. No one really knows you, but we know how sensitive and scared you are. It's okay. Bravery isn't having no fear. Bravery is having fear. But you do, 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 do it anyway. <laughs> Don't worry, Irving. We are so proud of you. You're not a father. Someone's got to be. This one I have my. When it comes to movies, Vault really has the game on lock. So today I'll be ranking my top five favorite films from the Vault Cinematic Universe. Coming in at number five, Rising Tide, an inspirational film about how the deep went from being just a small guppy to the biggest fish in the ocean. Go deep or go home. Coming in at number four, we have a certified classic, Homelander Origins. I really like this movie. It showed us a different side of Homelander. It showed us a different perspective. It showed us who the man behind the cape is. And most importantly, it showed us why he is the real hero. 
Now y'all might say I'm cheating here because this is a mini series, but coming in at number three, we have Homelander Brightest Night. Now this is a sequel to Homelander Darkest Day and bro, Homelander is my favorite superhero. So just being able to see him in action and see why he's the greatest hero, oh man, it was perfect. Now y'all shouldn't be surprised about this one. Coming in at number two, Training A Train. An inspirational story about how a young lost boy almost went down the wrong path, but found his savior and put him on the right track to become the fastest superhero in the world. And some of y'all might say I'm a little corny for this one, but coming in at number one, Dawn of the Seven. I gotta go with the OG, the one that sparked it all, the one that really put the Voss Cinematic Universe on the map. Still to this day, this is the greatest Voss film to ever be released, and I don't think anything will ever top it. I can barely understand you. Your accent's insane. What the fuck do you want, Deep? Justice, you fucking bitch. God, I'm gonna enjoy this so much. First, you try to cancel me. Victimize an innocent man, because I guess that's just cool to do to white guys nowadays. But joke's on you. Me Too's over, sweetheart. It didn't work. Wah, wah, wah. I do not respect your truth. I do not honor and cherish your story. And I do not fucking apologize. No matter how often it happens, stuff like this never goes the way that they want it to when talking about the boy. This brain rot of a creator made a video saying, The Boys Season 4, How to Destroy Your Audience. After watching this entire video, it's so funny to me that he realizes after four seasons that the show is literally talking about people just like him. It's just been an entire parody, just making fun of them, and he only just now realized. This video overall is just terrible. All the takes, horrendous. Within a minute of this video, he said that the characters kind of just blend together and that the story is just so predictable. When in reality, none of the seasons are predictable at all, let alone the characters. Even if you've read the comics or watched the show itself, you know that they're two different entities altogether. So to say that the show is predictable, let alone the characters, is just outright wrong. I can't make this up. Based off of his reaction alone, he didn't watch the show before making this video. He also says it's too political, which is literally calling him out because that's exactly what this whole thing has been talking about for the past four seasons and he's just not realized it, as I said at the beginning of this video. Bro legitimately admits that he just went to Rotten Tomatoes and checked the reviews instead of actually watching it for himself. And throughout all these reviews that he finds, it's just them trying to bash the show for the show calling them out. And I think that is hilarious. It's specifically just that side of things. You can see on every other social media and everything else that literally praises the show for being as good as it is. But to those who don't like it, it's because the show called them out. Even as he explains it, he's explaining himself and everyone else who rated this show to be bad. Saying that Homelander is a hero, who in their right mind thinks that's the case? And then saying the writers got a bit too comfortable once the show got mainstream. They didn't get comfortable. They're just calling everybody out. Like, how do you form an opinion on something strictly off of audience reviews and not actually watch the show itself. Like, make it make sense. And they say that this season destroyed its audience, but it actually went up 21%. And his whole argument about saying that the show called out the right-wing conservatives, saying that the characters are no longer interesting and that the story and the characters kind of departed from each other is just completely wrong. If you watch season four, you know that's not the case. It still has the exact same feel as it does with the other seasons. It's just calling you all out better. Like, it doesn't take much to realize that that is the case. Oh my god, though. it's Soda Jam Boy. Fab Five Freddy told me everybody's fly. DJ spit and I said, My, my. Flash is fast, Flash is cool. Fence was a bar, Flash ain't no dude, and you don't stop. Shisha, go out to the parking lot, and you get in your car. There is no way in high hell you're supposed to be me. Yes, sir. Yes, I am. Soldier boy reporting for duty. You, you just disgust me. Like, I, 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 I'm sorry to say that. I, I am not actually. I'm not sorry. 
Why is Homelander bullying you? Why would you let your own son do that to you? I saw what he was saying to you earlier. Mr. Homelander, oh no, 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 no. Homelander is not my son. Gods, no. You know, that'd be incest. It... Incest? Why are you with Homelander? Oh no, I'm not with Homelander, you see. There's just certain tests you gotta do to get into the seven and you know, I just love Homelander so much, so I'll do whatever it takes. Is, is Homelander your son? JFK in a drop top. Yes, he's my son. That's why I asked if he was your son, because I assumed he was your son. Like, like, you're the worst version of me. You know that, right? Like, I'm the pinnacle of any soldier boy. And you are the worst version of her. Are you peeing yourself? No, 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 sir. I'm not peeing myself. I can see it dripping. I, I'm, I'm looking at you. You are getting pee on my floors. This just happens sometimes to hardened veterans. This does not happen to a soul. This this does not happen to a soul. Maybe a four-year-old. Yeah. Yeah, maybe a four-year-old. You know what? Leave. Leave. Go get changed and leave. Never, never look at me again. Don't even call yourself Soldier Boy. If I catch wind of you calling yourself Soldier Boy, I will shove my shield so far down your throat.